Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we are going to go over how to make a um game on Play Canvas. It is very simple but at the same time hard. So like I say in basically all my tutorials, just pay attention and you'll get it. Now, if you want to create a project, you can click new it will be on the top right so if you go here and then you click on projects then you can click new so I'll name this um, subscribe uh, and I don't even think I spelled that right yeah if you guys think this vi this tutorial is good or if you don't subscribe and leave a like I'm just playing. But consider doing it. It will really help out the channel. And yeah. So we can enter a description. Um, like the video. And then we'll create. Now we can click on it. It will already put us in there. And then we'll go into the editor. Now we can click on the um, untitled. I'm sorry, I clicked that really fast. It's just a habit. So we can um, go to the plane, which will be in the hierarchy. You, It might be like this, so just click on that. Now that we're on the plane, I'm going to set it to a box just to make it simpler. And then we're going to add a collision to this. But first we want to name it. So we want to say um, ground and then we want to click add component add a collision and then we want to import ammo so then we want to make the half extends maybe I think it's four by four yep so now that we have a collision we can add a component rigid body then we'll keep it as static and then we can change the friction by whatever we want so say you don't want him to move like like want him to slide around then you can set the friction to zero or if you want him to get stuck if he is walking on there you can set the friction to one but I'm gonna keep the friction at five, 0 0.5 and the restitution you can set to a lower value. I'm not quite sure what this does myself, but um, yeah, just set it to a lower value if you want the player to walk around. Now we're gonna go to the box, then we're gonna add a component collision, and then that's already good. So then we're gonna go to add component again and add a rigid body. This time we want to set our rigid body to dynamic by clicking on the type. And then we can change whatever we want here. Um, now, if we move him up here and we click play, then he falls down. The reason the ground isn't falling is because we have it on the default static. Static means it has no physics, but this is dynamic, so it will. Now, next, we can go down here right click and say new set folder and then we'll name it my oops, caps lock materials and then we're gonna double click on it new set material now we'll name this ground so the diffuse to I don't know what I want to make the ground. How about we make the ground brown? So then we'll go to ground and then we'll drag this into here. Now we have a ground. Then we can do a set material and then we'll name it player. Set the diffuse 
to red. We can set the diffuse by clicking on this little arrow right here and then going down to color and setting it to whatever you want. Now we're going to go to box and drag this into here. Now they have colors. So if we play, now you can tell the difference between them. So, um, what we want to do next is go back here, like go back to the main thing by clicking on the little slash, and then we're going to say new set folder, and we're going to name it um, scripts. Now this runs JavaScript, so if we double click on the scripts folder, and then we say do a set script, and then we're going to name this main. So if we double click on it, it will set us to another page, and this will be our code editor. This is where we're going to do everything. So, to make a attribute, which is very important in JavaScript, well, I don't know if it's on other platforms, but Play Canvas, it is very important. So we can type the name of our script, the variable name, main dot, uh, oops, dot attributes dot add parentheses uh, semicolon, then the name. So we'll name this um, player. And then we're going to go to the outside of the parentheses, no, the um, quotation marks, comma, brackets, type, colon, single quotation marks, and then entity. Now if we say control, if we type control S, and then, or we can click save file, then we can go back here, then we can go to root, add a component, script, add script, main, and then we'll parse. And then as you can see we have player, so we're going to select box. We also need to name this box to, to player. So, next we can say, um, we can create a function with pressing down keys. So if we say app dot wait. Um I'm having a little dumb moment. Um this dot app dot keyboard dot uh on PC dot key down then um comma um this dot on key down comma this parenthesis no semicolon then we can copy this and go down but then instead of saying key down we want to say key up So, now that we have this, we can set our code up. So if we, if we go to update, this will happen every frame. So it will say frame one, do this, or run code. Frame two, run the code again. Frame three, frame four. Initialize is just to set up everything. It's on the very first frame, and that's it. So if we go in here, we can create an if statement. We could say if if parentheses this dot app dot keyboard dot was pressed parentheses PC and we gotta remember to have the same capitals as me as or it will not work. So PC dot capital key um, underscore how about we say left left then we can use brackets on the very outside 
and then this will create our if statement. So we're saying if if this um, equation inside the parentheses is true, then we'll do whatever is inside these brackets. So we'll say this dot app dot keyboard dot was pressed. So we're going to this. We're going to the like app, the, and then the keyboard, then seeing if something was pressed, and if the something that was pressed was key left, then we'll we will run this. So we can say to test it out, console dot log. Um, quotation marks key left was pressed then we can close it with a semicolon now if we press control s we can go back to the editor and click launch now if we click f12 it must not be working so we're going to go to more tools developer tools then we're going to go to console and then if we press key left key left was pressed then it'll just keep repeating now we can also go back to here and we can say instead of was pressed is pressed now we'll save then we'll reload the launch and then we will open the console up again then now instead of saying if the key was pressed which means it went down then it went back up it's just saying if the key is down so just keep repeating it over and over again now um we can also say else if this dot app dot keyboard dot was pressed let's change this back to was pressed to make it not so glitchy pc dot key how about we say oh, a then we'll use brackets so we're saying if this code right here isn't true then it will check if this is true and then if it's true we'll do whatever it is inside these brackets right here so we can say console dot log parentheses on the outside semicolon back in the parentheses quotation marks key w was pressed then if we save, we can go back to the launch and click um, reload. Then if we press left, key left was pressed. If we press, press A, oh, I was supposed to say key A was pressed, but you guys get it. Now, I think that would be all for today's tutorial. We just went over some very basic stuff. And I also forgot to mention that console.log, you're going to the console, which is, this is the console, then it will um, insert, it will log, whatever is inside these parentheses. So, if you guys enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and subscribing. It will really help a lot for the channel. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video, and always remember, to code.